Hello, everyone. Welcome to lesson fifteen. The title of the story we are looking at today is "Good News." 大家好，今天我们学习第十五课。课文的标题是 "Good News." 好消息。The story is about a man who had to see his boss. 课文呢，讲的是一位雇员被老板召见的这样一个情形。OK, you will soon learn about the story, but first, let's look at the key words and expressions. 下面呢，我们先看看本课的关键词和短语。Secretary, Mr. Harmsworth， 这是故事中的人名。Nervous. Look up. Afford. Interrupt. Extra. Okay. Now, as usual, I'm going to give you three questions on the text. Please keep them in mind while you watch and listen. 下面呢，我们是给课文提出三个问题。请大家在看课文动漫的时候考虑一下。Question number one: How did the writer feel when he was told to see his boss? 作者被告知去见他的老板的时候是什么样的感觉 ？Question number two: What did Mr. Harmsworth say about business? Harmsworth 先生。说公司的生意怎么样 ？Question number three: What was the good news for the writer? 对于作者来说，这个好消息是什么 ？The secretary told me that Mr. Harmsworth would see me. I felt very nervous when I went into his office. He did not look up from his desk when I entered. After I had sat down, he said that business was very bad. He told me that the firm could not afford to pay such large salaries. Twenty people had already left. I knew that my turn had come. Mr. Harmsworth, I said in a weak voice. Don't interrupt, he said. Then he smiled, and told me I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year. Right. After watching the show, are you able to answer the questions that I gave you? 大家看完了课文的动漫以后。能不能回答前面提出的问题呢？我们一起来看一看。How did the writer feel when he was told to see his boss? 当作者被告知去见他的老板的时候，他是一种什么样的感觉呢 ？He felt he was very nervous. 他感到自己非常紧张。What did Mr. Harmsworth say? About business, Mr. Harmsworth, 也就是公司的老板，他说生意怎么样呢 ？He said business was very bad. 他说公司的生意非常不景气。What was the good news for the writer? 对于作者来说，那个好消息是什么呢？ The good news was, he would receive an extra thousand pounds a year. 那个好消息是，他每年还要额外的得到一千英镑的收入。Okay, that's it for the questions and answers. Now let's look at the language points. 下面呢，我们一起来看看课文的语言点。He did not look up from his desk when I entered. 我进去的时候，他连头也没抬一下。这句话讲的是这位公司的老板一副傲慢的态度。Look up, 
，意思是抬起头来看。我们来看一个例句 ：He looked up from the newspaper when someone called him. 当有人叫他的时候，他从报纸上抬起头来。He told me that the firm could not afford to pay such large salaries. 他告诉我，公司支付不起这么庞大的工资开支。Cannot afford to do something， 意思是由于经济等方面的原因，没有能力做什么事。请看这个例句 ：He cannot afford to send his son to college. 他负担不起送他的儿子上大学。Afford 后面还可以直接跟宾语。I cannot afford the rent. 我付不起这个租金。Twenty people had already left. 已经有二十个人离开了公司。这里的。Had left, 就是指 had left the company. 那么根据课文的意思就是说，这二十个人已经被解雇了。解雇在英文中有几种说法，其中之一是 fire。比如这句话也可以说 ，Twenty people had already been fired. 用的是被动语态。二十个人已经被解雇了。解雇还有一个说法，是一个词组 ，lay off。比如这个例句 ，He was recently laid off， 也是被动语态。他最近被解雇了。I knew that my turn had come。我知道。这回该轮到我了。这里的 turn 意思是轮到我什么了？那么是指轮到他被开除了。Now it's your turn to speak. 现在轮到你讲话了。It's your turn 是轮到你做什么事情了。They are on duty. By turns, 他们轮流值班。By turns, 意思是轮流的。We'll cross the bridge in turn. 我们挨个的过那座桥。In turn 在这里是依次的。They took turns to look after the baby. 他们轮流来照顾这个孩子。Take turns， 意思是轮流怎么样 ？Then he smiled and told me I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year。随后，他微笑着告诉我，我将每年得到一千英镑的额外收入。An extra thousand pounds。在这里呢，大家也许会感到奇怪，既然是 thousand pounds 是复数，为什么这里会有一个 n？ 实际上，这个短语呢，它的意思就是 an extra sum of one thousand pounds。那么在这里呢 ，sum 这个词实际上是被省略了。Okay, so much for the language points. Now. Let's look at key structures and usage. 接下来我们要看看本课的关键句型。在这里呢，我们要来讲一下间接引语的用法。首先，我们来看看课文中的间接引语。The secretary told me that Mr. Harmsworth would see me. 秘书告诉我 ，Harmsworth 先生想见我。He said that business was very bad. 他说，公司的生意非常不景气。He told me that the firm could not afford to pay such large salaries. 
，他告诉我，公司支付不起这么庞大的工资开支。He smiled and told me I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year. 他微笑着告诉我，我将每年得到一千英镑的额外收入。下面我们看看，把直接英语改为间接英语时，英语部分的动词时态该怎么变化。I never work on Sundays," he said. 这是一个直接英语句子。那么，在直接英语中，英语部分的动词时态和引述动词时态可以不必一致。但是，改成间接英语的时候，英语部分的动词时态就要发生相应的变化。那么，由原来的一般现在时就要改成过去时，一般过去时。He said he never worked on Sundays. 下面一句 ，I broke that plate. He said. 这里呢，直接英语的部分动词时态是一般过去时，在改为间接英语的时候，这个时态就要变成过去完成时。He said that he had broken that plate. Mr. Jones will see you. She said. 这里直接英语中的动词时态是一般将来时，改为间接英语的时候要变成过去将来时。She said that Mr. Jones would see you. I have just finished work, Mr. Jones said. 这里直接英语中的时态是现在完成时，改成间接英语的时候，时态要变成过去完成时。Mr. Jones said that he had just finished work. 间接英语我们就先讲到这儿，最后再让我们回到课文的话题上来。这篇课文其实讲了一个因祸得福的故事。因祸得福在英文中可以说 a blessing in disguise, a blessing in disguise. 这个说法在我们以后的课文中还会接触到。之所以说是因祸得福，是因为作者在进办公室见老板之前预感很不好。课文中说到 ，The boss did not even look up from his desk when he entered。进去的时候连头也没抬，而且呢，当谈话的时候，老板又说 ，Business was very bad。而且呢，二十个员工也被他开除了。所以作者以为这个厄运呢将要降临到他的头上来了 ，But to his surprise, he got a pay raise. 结果呢却是出乎他的意料之外，他不但没被开除，而且还得到了加薪 ，got a pay raise. 那么从这个意义上来讲，他是一个走了运的人。走运，幸运的人在英文中可以说 a lucky dog。He's a lucky dog. Lucky dog 字面上是幸运的狗，但是这里并没有贬义。那么，作者得到了加薪，但并不意味着这钱是白拿的。有意思的是，课文中 ，Mr. Harmsworth 这个名字好像也给了我们一点暗示。这个名字里边有一个词是 harm, H-A-R-M, harm， 意思是有害的。那么也就是说，老板也不是一个善良之辈。好，话题呢，我们就先说到这儿。See you next time.